Hi, my name is Cindy Lynch and I teach photography here at Hillsdale and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we'll be doing in this uh, distance learning environment and hopefully we'll get back to class soon. I've been teaching uh, photography for 13 years and I right currently I teach AP photo, AP art and photography. I started teaching digital photography at Menlo Atherton. I started the program over there for the district and then I started teaching here 12 years ago and then started photography over here as well. I was teaching art at first and then I have transitioned mainly over to photography and a lot of AP. The students really love the AP class so they go straight from photography into AP where they get to build a portfolio of work based on a sustained investigation which is really amazing because we learn a lot about what it means to be a professional photographer and it's um, really fun for all of us and the students uh, bring in a lot of amazing ideas they're great at the school. Um, I have a BFA in art and printmaking from San Diego State and a CTE credential from UC Berkeley. So um, what do we do in this class? We usually take a lot of photos and so um, they're gonna have to be taking them at home for now and usually we do a lot of photos in class because we have the studio, the lighting, we have the a full set of the cameras the DSLRs, but we don't have enough for all the students because we have a lot of photography classes. So um, they'll be using their phones or if they have a DSLR at home, they, they're using that hopefully. Um, we learn how to compose a photo, how to use um, Photoshop. If they don't have Photoshop, then they're going to use Photopea. And then Lightroom is also something that will be able to be incorporated. We think that they'll be able to use them on the MacBook on the Chromebooks. And then they also learn um, the history of photography. Right now they're giving speeches based on their famous photographer. And then they talk about the style. They learn to analyze a photo using the principles of design. And that helps them in their own photography. And then also they learn from each other because they learn about the history of photography and the different styles. We also learn about the importance of photography and famous photographers. Do students need a fancy camera? No, they don't. So they can use whatever they want. I know I notice a lot of students go out and buy a camera, which is kind of cool. They buy their own camera. You can get them pretty cheap used. Let me know if you need help picking out a camera. There's a lot of good ones um, out there right now that are cheap. Um, so we're going to take a lot of photos that um, are going to be based on the principles of design first and then we're going to go into portraiture. We're going to have them set up their own little still life at home. Usually we do it in the studio but I'm going to show them how to do it using just one light and then using pieces of paper to bounce light or create shadows which is really fun so you create your own little studio at home. And then usually we take photos outside of class. There's, so there is going to be homework. We don't um, usually take, we're not going to be taking them during class. Um, on Zoom meetings because we have so much to do and there's very little time. So they're going to be taking photos outside of school. If they can, they can leave the house, it would be great. If not, they can take them at home. So there'll always be some options where they can decide how they want to take the photos. Some students may want to take photos in other locations, if that's okay, maybe in Half Moon Bay or some other place. And I, I'll show you where they can find locations to shoot outside of the house. Um, their grades are mainly based on their photos and then some of it is based on Photoshop or Photopea and then we also do critiques and they'll have other assignments and then their work ethic and behavior as well. If they don't turn an assignment, their grades are going to start to really go down. So I do allow them to turn their assignments late, but if they're really late, they might get a few points off, but I do like it if they all finish the assignments and so I do allow them to turn them in late. And then on Canvas they'll see all of their assignments. They're organized into modules. You can find it on the current week. So I'll have the current week at the top. They will turn their photos through Canvas via their Google Doc. So they're going to put all their photos into a Google Doc and then share in Canvas. And then they have a calendar that helps them to see when everything is due. I usually give them a little time to take the photos because I want them to be really good and have them take some time to make them. 
how they want to make them. We're going to be using some apps. I'm going to go over Padlet in a while. So Padlet is where they can share their photos with each other. It's an internal program, which means they the only people that see their photos are the ones that they share them with. And we're going to be sharing with first with the class, and then they'll be sharing their portfolios with all the students in photography. We have about 200 students with the AP and the beginning. So it's good for them to see each other's work. We're going to be using Lightroom and I'm hoping again that they'll work on Chromebooks. The And Photoshop is amazing. We love it. So I'm hoping we'll be able to use that. But Photopea is almost exactly like Photoshop and it's free. They don't need to download load it on their computer. So I think that's going to work. And then I wanted to show you some other things. So on Padlet is where they're going to be doing critiques. So they put their photos up and then people will be able to write about them. These are some of my photos um, that I just put up yesterday to show them how to do it. It's really easy. You just drag and drop and then they'll have their photos up. So it's kind of cool. They can name them. So I'm really excited about this. This is a new thing and a lot of teachers are using this. You can also do um, critiques on here. So they'll I think it's going to be really good. And then I wanted to show you Canvas. So this is what's going to look like when they go into their course, the main page. The Zoom links are here. The office hours are right here. So office hours are usually on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at the end of the day. So they can always come during office hours to check in with me. I'm also using the app Remind, which connects to their phone so they can always text me. So there's lots of ways to get a hold of me. Then we also have the email in Canvas. I, I look at that every day. So th there's a lot of ways that they can communicate because I noticed with uh, Zoom, sometimes it's hard to get to every student. So I really encourage people to communicate. And if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know if you want to know how to get the camera for them or about their class or the lessons. So they're going to find the lessons right here. Up here I just have um, links and then they'll have it by the week. So they'll have an agenda that sort of goes over what we're working on. Sometimes we're watching videos and sometimes we're doing assignments. Right now they're working on the leading line assignment which is due today. They're doing different kinds of line. And it, it connects to my website because then I can show more examples and then they can look through the student examples of different kinds of line. It's kind of cool. We have really great students here. So this is what they're working on right now. And then they're going to do one with shadows and light. They're doing the photographer speeches right now where they, they give a presentation. Oh, went to the wrong thing. Anyway, they're giving a speech on a photographer. And uh, let me just show you here. So the photo assignments, so they're doing the lines and they're, they're doing a research on a photographer. So they look up their photographer and they're learning how to talk about this. And this really helps for them to actually like see where photographers came from, how do they become famous. So it just helps them. And then I wanted to show you some of the more, some of the photo assignments. So they can click on here and they can find lots of resources. The photographer list is really important. So it's by theme. So they learn the different styles of photography and say we have Andrea Barb from Santa Cruz. So some people like to do portraits. By the end of the year, hopefully they'll have like a style that they like to do. And some people are interested in street photography, Bresson. It's really fun for us to learn about the, the history of photography together. A lot of people like David Dublay, so most people don't really know a lot about photography and it's really fun for us to do that. And then if they go to their courses again, the lessons, what else are we working on? Yeah, so, um, oh, they also keep a log of everything that they're doing for the week. So the, there's a PowerPoint and for each week, they're going to log what they're thinking about, what they're working on, what questions they have. Because I can't see their computer, I think that's going to help us a lot to know where everybody is every week. And then they're creating their Padlet account. We do Edpuzzle videos. So they're videos where they watch it and they answer questions as they go. And that's going to be based on what we're learning. And I think it's going to be a fun class. Oh, if you go to the website and you can't get in, 
it's because the password is camera so if you want to go in there and look around and they ask for the password that's what it is so it has a lot of examples and tips so i hope it's going to be a fun year let me know if you have any questions and hopefully i'll meet all you guys soon oh also we're going to have shows so we might do it online it depends on when we come back to school or we might do one in person print out their photos and put them up it all depends on what happens so hopefully i will meet all of you guys soon